Hey everybody, welcome to this video in our Ansible how-to series. At this point in the series, you've got Ansible installed and you've got your SSH keys generated and copied out to all of your inventory. So what we need to talk about now is how to tell Ansible what your inventory is and how to get it to programmatically connect to all of your inventory. So we're gonna talk about the Ansible hosts file. The Ansible hosts file is where we list our inventory and we can list it by IP address and we can list it by DNS name and we can mix and match. It's pretty flexible in that way. Uh, it's important to know that there is a default Ansible hosts file that is installed when you install Ansible. That is in Etsy Ansible hosts. And that file is definitely worth a read. I mean, it's worth opening it up, reading through it, checking it out. There's a lot of subtleties and you'll get a lot of great information about how you can do different things in different ways with the host file. It's also important to know that you can have multiple hosts files. And this is especially important for the people who are watching this series in order to automate their Nagios deployment. When you take a look at the, uh, at the scripts that we provide, you will see that we have a hosts file that is local to the project directory that we're working in. So uh, that is important to know. Now in this local host file for your Nagios deployment automation, you want to know that really you don't have to copy over the default Ansible hosts file because there's all that notation in there and all the comments in there that you don't actually need. It can just be a listing by IP address or DNS name or both. And that way we just let our automation scripts know what inventory you need to be connecting to. And that's really all you need to do. So get that Ansible hosts file filled with your Linux inventory, and then stay tuned for the next video where we're gonna cover the last thing that you need to know, which is the Ansible configuration file. And after that, you're good to go to automate your Nagios deployment.